Howdy folks and welcome back to the Copper Crew server and today we're going to do a few special things not to mention this is our first day without shaders um, but we're going to get some experience levels so we can enchant some of our stuff I just wanted to mention that I have an idea for this area I think I think in an episode soon we're going to go around and map out the area and we we'll have a big map stand or big map display like a directory right along that um dirt pile i think just something i was thinking about doing but otherwise um we are going to get some experience levels at the pigman farm which is complete it's a community farm built by cepha of course but first you have to run upstairs and get rid of a few things inventory so i'll meet you up there all right we have some Fruits and things to get rid of here, as well as some hostile mob drops. And a gold nugget, I guess. Oh, we do not need the pumpkin head, because we're not going to the end. Actually, let's just throw the pumpkin head with the pumpkins. Um, the wood is for some regular pickaxes I'm going to make. I can't remember what I have in the space next to my bow normally. Oh, this thing. That goes there. All right, so let's um, get some of those out so we can make some iron pickaxes to have on hand. Because I don't want to waste our fancy silk touch. So in fact, let's um, put that with this for now. And then I want to get looting, or I want to get um, um, fortune on that guy and then looting on our sword. But first we have to get some experience. So, do we need fire potion? Let's have it just in case. Alright, so let's head into the nether. And I'll show you where this pigman farm is. Alright, so here we go. Um, I still want to see if there's a way I can have Optifine without connected glass. I would actually like to not have connected glass in my world. But if I need to, if I'm going to use Optifine, I guess I will. I'm just really admiring how bright and visible the nether is without shaders. Oh my gosh, you can see everything. The only thing I'm mostly disappointed about is that the glowstone doesn't glow as much without shaders, but that's just the way it is. Alright, so I believe the pigment farm is up this ladder at the top. And um, the only thing I don't know is once you aggravate the pigmen and you're done is this enough blocks away that other pigmen won't attack you you know what i mean because um pigmen i think will get you if you're 40 blocks away and this is is this the way oh, wait there's more there's more is that bedrock Wait. Wait. What? Wait a minute. How did we get on top of the bedrock? I'm so confused right now. Oh, what's this stuff? I don't have anything in my inner chest. No. Oh. Gal, why do I hear a gas up here? I'm so confused right now. Oh well, I'm glad I have shaders off for this because I wouldn't even see this right now. But we're on top. Of, I'm so confused. Oh well. We'll just keep going up and up and up and hope that gas is on the other side of the bedrock as it should be. I can look around, right? Whoa. This is really crazy. All right, well, let's keep going up here, and um, hopefully I don't fall and die. <laughs> All right, I am really freaked out. I feel like, even though this is a game, I feel like I just crawled up the side of a tall building. Oh, boy. Okay. So, I know... Oh, my gosh. This is really freaky. What coordinates does this say we are? 249. Okay, so I think we grab a couple snowballs. Like so. 
and then we stand on the grass, which is right there, and we chuck a snowball at the guy right there, and we should just sit here and get experience, I guess. And that's how we'll get experience so we can do our enchantments. So, got him in one. Oh, this is awesome. So how do they die? Oh, is it entity cramming? I get it. So it's using entity cramming. And then, um... Oh, I see. Then the guy on the gold is trapped, I guess? But then what happens if we whack him too many times over time? Does he get replaced? Oh my gosh, this is insane. This is hilarious. Um, that magma cube isn't going to get me, is he? There's a bunch of them over there. Oh, the little guy just jumped off. Oh, this is hilarious. I don't know how people come up with this stuff. I mean, I understand the concept. You hit a pigment and they all come after you. But I guess in this entity cramming, so it's blocked where they can't get you, but the XP comes through. And then they just go up and they're forced to fall down. I guess it makes sense. And then I assume it's high enough so that when we go down, other pigmen are not going to come after us because we're beyond the limit of them to get triggered, right? I guess we'll find out. All right, I'm going to get a bunch more levels. And um, I'll cut back to when we're done. <laughs> Is there really a chicken? <laughs> There's a chicken that spawned. Oh my gosh, I wonder what that block is that they use, that Sefa used. What is that? Huh, I don't even know what that is. With this texture pack, I don't recognize all the blocks. Oh. Are they done? Alrighty. Well, that's all I needed, really. Um, I didn't break it, I hope. I think they just timed out. Alright, good. So, let's put... Whoa. Oh, there's that other, I forgot what that brick is called. The red stuff you can make, another chicken. Oh yeah, so there's some redstone involved. And some chest, oh that must be the loot. Oh, I see, oh then the cactus, ah, this is all coming together. So, I totally understand how this works. I just, whoa, look at all those swords. I totally understand how this works, I just don't know how people come up with it. Like, once you have the answers, you know, that's one thing. How do I get down so I don't die? Um, how do I get on... It's like real life. You're trying to get on a ladder. Okay. Oh my goodness, that was amazing. Well, thank you, Sefa, for building that, because that was awesome. In fact, the sound, the non-stop sound of the pigment was very soothing. I actually closed my eyes, and I think I might have fallen asleep for a minute there, too. Oh, man, this is neat. I don't know how they got above the bedrock. Huh. I wonder where that portal goes. I mean, we're right above spawn. Huh, I do. I wonder where that portal goes. Anyway, super impressive. So now we have enough to do our enchantments. Uh, make sure nothing's gonna, I guess nothing can really get me, can it? I wonder what that is. I'm scared to step on it. I'm thinking like something's gonna get triggered by that. Um, okay, is this the main one? Oh, that's the hub. Okay, that's above the hub. Wow, I'm impressed. Like I said, I totally understand now how that works. I just don't know how people come up with that stuff. Anyway. Let's head back to our own place here. And so I assume we're not going to get attacked. Because we're far enough away. That we're not going to get attacked. Or the event, the big arena was far enough away. We're not going to get attacked. Alright, let's head back upstairs and let's enchant some stuff, shall we? get our special things here. Oh gosh, what are we going to do with that stuff? I didn't... 
I didn't mean to bring all those swords with me because now we gotta deal with all the swords. So let's just go like this until I think of something to do with them, I guess. And this will be good for a dog. Where was I keeping zombie flesh? There it is. That'd be good for a dog. Let's take a few more of these here. And, um, let's enchant some stuff, I guess. Here we go. Alright, so we need our lapis lazuli. We're gonna need some of this. Alright, so what can we do with our diamond pickaxe? Efficiency, but we don't know what else. I don't want... I already have some touch, that's funny. Of course I want fortune, that's all I want. And I might get fortune. But I'm not guaranteed fortune, so then we would have to combine it with something else with fortune. Um, and put on the anvil. Well, oh, that's already enchanted. It is? Oh, it is. So we need to throw. We need to do a throwaway enchantment. What can we do? Silk touch on that thing. I guess if I want, what you would call it. All right. Well, let's do this. Nice. Okay. That'll last a little bit. Now let's see what we get from this guy. Uh, I'm tempted, but that might be all we get. Let's um let's reset the table again. Watch this be fortune. Nope, see, I'm glad I didn't go for that over here. Oh my gosh. Let's reset the table again. And this, oh, I'm breaking efficiency. That'd be nice. What was this one? I'm breaking and breaking. I just want to get fortune. Ha! Ah, there. Look at that. And efficiency. Nice. So we cannot combine them because you can't do silk touch and fortune. They're both efficiency anyway. It would be nice to get, um, what am I trying to think of here? It would be nice to get unbreaking. Because mending only comes from a book. There is a mending book around somewhere. I'm not quite exactly sure how to get it. Somebody has a villager that has it, something like that. Um, what am I trying to do here? I'm going to see what we can do with our fresh diamond leggings. Protection. Let's just do protection as we can. And while we're at it... That has the most left, so let's do something with this. If we can. I'm breaking on iron. Hmm. Why not? And fire protection. Um, keep in mind, though, that there's a much, much bigger difference now between iron and diamond armor ever since, I think it was 1.9 or something. Because I remember that... Um, used to not really matter that much of a difference, but now there's a huge, huge, huge difference. And boy, did I notice it during that dragon fight. All right, what do we have here? Night vision. Well, night vision will work now because we don't have shaders. Um, I wanted this blaze. I need to... Oh, I have Ender to get... Um, and there's some obsidians, obsidians I can make an Ender chest. That's what I was going to do. I don't need to right now. All right, let's. What do we have in here again? Power. I already have power. I'm, ooh, we can enchant some books though. Do we have enough levels to enchant some books? Let's enchant some books. See what we can get. We might have to go back and get some more levels though. Let's see. Huh, that'd be kind of nice. Let's see what we get. Nothing. Silly. Knockback protects. Knockback would be nice to have on her sword. Get the creepers out of the way. Um. Hmm. Let's do it just because I can. Except, oh, I might not, not, not have enough levels to do the anvil, though. Let's see. What? Oh, only one. Should I name it? I have no reason to name it. There. Nice. 
nothing that fancy or anything. It's just stuff I've never done before. All right, well, now we have some tools to do the other thing I was going to do, which is um, go down to our ravine. And in the ravine, we're going to clear that place out, see what kind of loot we get. So let's head downstairs. Now that I can see, I'm not afraid to run outside in the rain. Oh, I don't need my fire protection. Whatever, I'll just keep it. Maybe I want it. Maybe if we get too close to the too close to the um, lava or something. All right, let's see what we're gonna do here. Still kind of nervous. There should be nothing over there. No, we should be fine. We should be totally safe. Just checking for creepers, though. That's the only thing that would bother me would be creepers. Whoa, that was weird loading. Yeah, I don't see anything. I'm pretty sure I leveled everything off so nothing can even spawn up there and come down. Alright, so I just want to clear this place out of goods, top to bottom. And, um... That's what we're gonna do. Let's see. I'm not used to having enchantments on everything. This is hilarious. So, I think if I put fortune here... Oh, I just heard a zombie. Oops. Oh my gosh. What? What? What happened? Whoa, I'm like getting really like turned around here. Dizzy. Okay. So, I'm going to clean this out. I don't think you really need to wash me clean. Or I'm just curious what I'm going to get. So, I had 21 pieces. Oh, there's one. You don't get... Oh, there's good fortune. There we go. Okay. I'm going to clean this place out. I don't really think... You're going to care to watch me clean out a ravine. Um, but, that being said, I will jump back in a moment, I guess. And I'm going to show you a minute here how funny I think this is. I've only chopped four blocks of lapis. And I, whoops, and that got me a stack plus just four blocks. I think that's hilarious. I'm expecting lava to pour down on me, though, so I'm being careful. I actually stepped through the... into the ravine just to do some quick branch mining here. Just looking for some diamonds super fast before I continue with the other levels of the ravine. But I haven't found anything, though, so... Let's see. A little bit more. I just want to see how many diamonds I can get with fortune. Um... Not looking very good though, is it? I'll do a little bit more here. If I don't see anything, then I'll just go back to what I was doing. One more. There. Oh, look at that. Found some. All right. Clear it out, just so we don't run into anything. There's just one. What? Well, we got fortune. Oh, there we go. There's one. Ooh. Hang on. Nice. Look at that. All right, what do we get? Nine. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Oh, I'm doing another torch in here. I can't really tell now. You know what I'm going to say? Because I'm used to shaders. Good. We got some diamonds. So I'm not going to keep going that way because they won't be that close. Let's pick up all this stuff, though. Now, you don't get fortune with iron, right? So I'm not going to waste my iron, my fortune on that. It was like a double vein, though. Man, it's so fun to have efficiency. Holy cow, instead of like sitting here hitting things for a minute, it's like almost instant. That's crazy. I'm not used to this. This is, now I feel like I'm actually minecrafting. Um, wow. What a difference. Alright, well, I'm going to keep going here. And um, I'll catch up to you in a moment. So I wanted to show you how many torches I put down. Do you remember this extra cave? So here's the ravine. Ooh, hope nothing spawns up there. So there's the ravine. That's where we started. And then we have this extra cave. Look at all these torches I put in here so I could see. Obviously, this was that lava. Obviously, I way over torched. That's kind of funny. Um, you know, I've been using my regular pickaxe for the iron because I don't believe that Silk Touch does anything, right? Or Fortune does anything, right? So we have six, 17 iron. 
yeah, just 18. Okay, I don't want to waste that. So let's use, ooh. Oh, let's, um. Oh, there's more iron up there, though. And you just got startled because somebody just walked around upstairs. Let's just keep you blank for right now. And... We already have quite a haul here. Oh my gosh. Anyway. Um, yeah. I'm doing kind of Minecraft 101 stuff, but for me this is a big deal. But I'll just keep going. I'll catch up with you in a moment. Well, let's see what our haul is here. And I'll show you what this ravine is going to do. Let's send this away. There we go. We got a bunch of these guys. Some gold. Stack and a half of iron. Some diamonds. I got some obsidian for a ender chest too, by the way. Let's get rid of some of this stuff here. Keep that. We'll keep that. We'll keep that. Keep that nearby. And let's send that on its way. And we will see you later. Now what I want to show you is I already started this ravine from the top. I put a torch up. If I were to open one of these up, I don't want a creeper to stare me in the face. Okay, so the glowstone obviously lighting it up, but if you look, oh, you can't see from here. Enderman. If you look up there, see that torch? That is um, my first branch mine, my first mine way the heck up there. I don't want to look at this Enderman accident. Um, so anyway, I want, I want to go through here, figure all this out, light all this up, clear this one out, and then this tunnel here, instead of it turning around the corner like it is now, um, did I lose the other piece? I sure did. Oh, that's annoying. Um, what's going to happen then is it's going to go straight. I'll have it all lit up. So instead of making this turn, because I was too scared to go along the ravine, I went right to the mountain right here. We're going to open this up and go straight, because the other track is straight this way around my little mountain area that I chickened out. So that's how that's going to work. That will get fixed. Um, but for right now, let's hop on top. I want to get those coordinates, and I want to see if it's possible then to open up the ravine so you can see it from our main land upstairs. It might be kind of dumb. Um, actually, I want this width. So let's hop up here, and if it's nighttime, we'll sleep. But let's just get some coordinates and see what it's going to be like. See? So if we clean this out a little bit, we look carefully you will that shift you will see our minecart track it goes right through there see but I chickened out there's a creeper and so what he did is I made it go back into the mountain because the track would go parallel along the ravine I was too scared so another time I think I'm gonna go down there and light it all up clear it out and then redo this um, minecart tunnel so it's actually wide open with either glass or fences and it'll go straight. It'll be much improved but in the meantime I want to get the coordinates of this so you can see I made a three wide hole here and I don't know once I light it up and clear it out and rebuild my track I probably won't keep this open because the ravine goes this way a little bit more and it stops right about there and then the majority of the ravine opens up and goes this way underneath the woods and everything. So I'll probably cover it up, but I want to get it cleared out first. Oh, I left some flint down there. I want to get it lit up and redo my track. Like I said, my track will pretty much be either glass or railing. So when you go through that part, it'll be quick, but you'll be able to see the ravine super briefly. But we're going to do one more thing here before we call it a day. Look at this. It's dark now. And my area is so well lit up, it looks perfectly normal. And we can still see what's going on in the woods. So oh, I just love it. Oh, I can probably breed these animals one more time, huh? Let's do that super fast. It's like my first outing at night and not freaking out. How awesome is that? All right, let's get you guys bred here quickly. All right. Enter. 
Well, why would I guess I have to unlock it, huh? Okay, let me backspace out of here. Where's my eye vendor? I know we can go like this. We can go like that. Whoops. Make your eye vendor. Is it like this? Oh, it is. Oh my gosh. I just need to trust myself. We have our first ender chest, everybody. How exciting is that? What else can I leave down there? Nothing. Yes, I can. Lapis. Lapis, lapis, lapis. Um, up here, I guess. Let's fill you in. Look at that. Alright, let's, um... Gosh, I don't know where to put her under her chest. I guess I can just keep it on myself. Then we can slap it down, put stuff in it. Then if we die, it doesn't matter because it'll be in the next ender chest. Yeah, let's throw in our adventure. Adventure, adventure, all this can go in adventure. All right, actually, that's more like it. I still gotta get a mending book so I can wear my elytra and build it up. Just stand up at the zombie pig farm with my elytra on and mend that thing up. But I need the book, so I gotta talk to some people. I know some people on the server. And if I ask them the right questions, I can find out where to trade for this mending book. All right, we got our unbreaking and efficiency there. We got everything. I think that's it. I think. I think, I think, that is going to be our episode. Let's have a look out the, whoa, look out the window. And enjoy that we can see in the dark. Oh, it's almost daylight already. Thank you for joining me on this episode. I think this is episode 28. Um, first time with all shaders. I had a fun time. Clear out the ravine. Um, I don't know what's coming up next. I have a huge to-do list. I want to clear out that little ravine. I want to go back to the jungle now that I can see. I want to do some more exploring in the nether. I really actually enjoy being in the nether. Um, I want to try to explore an end city myself to see if I can actually do it. Um, I had a lot of fun the first time with everybody. But it's kind of a personal challenge to see if I can survive end city scavenging on my own. That's coming up. What else is coming up? Gosh, oh yeah, finish my glowstone walkway. Um, go back to that Mesa Mineshaft, remember? Where the server leg allowed the baby zombie to whack me a couple times. So I want to go back there. So yeah, we have a lot, lot to do. But with that being said, we'll catch you next time.